In this video, we will learn how to convert between compound SI units through dimensional analysis. Our friend Lily recently got out of surgery and needs medication to relieve her pain. The doctor delivers the pain medication through an IV at a rate of 2 mg per minute. The doctor needs to check that this will be safe for Lily's body, but the journal has values written in micrograms per second. Help the doctor out! What is this IV's rate in micrograms per second? First, let's write down our known number of 2 milligrams per minute. For now, we will focus on converting the milligrams to micrograms. To do this, we need to go from milligrams to the base unit of grams and then micrograms. To go from milligrams to grams, what conversion factor should we use? That's correct! 1 milligram is 10 to the negative 3 grams. So if we multiply 2 milligrams per minute, by 10 to the negative 3 grams over 1 milligram, we can cancel out the units of milligrams. Next, we can change the grams to micrograms. What can we multiply this expression by to have micrograms on top? 1 microgram is 10 to the negative 6 grams. So if we multiply this expression by 1 microgram over 10 to the negative 6 grams, we can get rid of the grams on both the top and the bottom. This leaves us with our desired units of micrograms on top. But we won't solve it just yet. We need to take care of the other conversion first. Okay, let's look at the minutes from the original given number. Because minutes are on the bottom, our next conversion factor should have minutes on top. So we can cancel the units out. We need to have seconds on the bottom. What is the next conversion factor to get from minutes to seconds? To cancel the minutes, we need to multiply the expression by 1 minute over 60 seconds. This way, we can replace the minutes with seconds on the bottom. The units are set for our final answer. We just need to multiply everything now. If we want to solve this without a calculator, we can look at all the exponents with a base of 10 first. There is 10 to the negative 3 on top and 10 to the negative 6 on the bottom. To solve this, we can subtract the top exponent by the bottom exponent. In this case, negative 3 minus negative 6 is 3, so the base is still 10 with an exponent of 3. Looking at the remaining numbers, we have 2 on top and 60 on the bottom. We can simplify these numbers like a fraction. The highest common factor is 2, so we can divide the 2 by 2 to get 1, and then divide the 60 by 2 to get 30. This leaves us with 10 to the power 3 over 30. Dividing by another 10 on both the numerator and the denominator, we can simplify the answer to 10 to the power 2 over 3, also written as 100 over 3 micrograms per second. The doctor confirms that 100 over 3, which is about 30 micrograms per second, is all safe for Lily. Thank you for your help! Let's move on to another problem. A geologist finds the density of granite to be 2.7 grams per cubic centimeters. The other rocks he studied have densities in kilograms per cubic meters. Help him convert 2.7 grams per cubic centimeters to kilograms per cubic meters so he can compare all of his data. Just like the last problem, we can first write 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. For now, we will focus on converting the grams to kilograms. What conversion factor should we use? 1 kilogram is 10 to the 3 grams. To cancel out the grams, we need to have 10 to the 3 grams on the bottom. So we will multiply 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter by 1 kilogram over 10 to the 3 grams. This leaves kilograms on the top. Okay, now let's switch over to converting the cubic centimeters from the given number. To change 1 cubic centimeter to 1 cubic meter, we need to know how many meters are in 1 centimeter. Every centimeter equals 10 to the negative 2 meters. Now, for volume, we multiply the same unit three times, one for each dimension. In the same way, we will multiply this conversion factor by itself three times. So, one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter equals one cubic centimeter. And next, we multiply 10 to the negative 2 meters times 10 to the negative 2 meters times 10 to the negative 2 meters. The exponents with the same base are all added together in multiplication, giving us an answer of 10 to the negative 6. This creates a new conversion factor of 1 cubic centimeter over 10 to the negative 6 cubic meters. Going back to the expression we were making earlier, we want cubic centimeters to cancel out. So we should keep the conversion factor as 1 cubic centimeter 
over 10 to the negative 6 cubic meters. This way, we will be left with cubic meters on the bottom. Finally, how many kilograms per cubic meters is 2.7 grams per cubic centimeters? Yes, 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter equals 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter. 10 to the 3 multiplied by 10 to the negative 6 is 10 to the negative 3 on the bottom. To bring 10 to the negative 3 to the numerator, we can use the inverse of this number by including a negative to the exponent. 1 over 10 to the negative 3 becomes 10 to the 3. Another way to put this is to think of the 1 in the numerator as 10 to the 0th power. When dividing exponents of the same base, we subtract the top exponent by the bottom one. 0 minus negative 3 is 3, giving us the same 10 to the 3 as before. With this, our final answer is 2.7 times 10 to the 3 kilograms per cubic meter, which can also be written as 2,700 kilograms per cubic meter.